CTC Marine Projects is the world's leading provider of subsea trenching, cable lay and installation services. As part of the Deep Ocean Group of Companies, CTC operates in the oil and gas, telecoms, utilities and defence sectors. Its headquarters and marine base are in the northeast of England. CTC also has offices in London, Perth, Australia and Singapore. CTC's geographic reach extends across the globe with a client base that includes major operators and contractors. The company plays a pioneering role in global subsea markets. With unrivaled burial capability, it is the only contractor that can trench any product in any seabed condition or water depth. CTC operates the largest, most modern and technically advanced fleet of trenching vehicles, positioning it as a key enabler in the offshore construction market. It continues to lead global developments in trenching and cable lay systems. An extensive fleet of pipeline and cable plows, jet trenching ROVs and mechanical trenches is supported by five multi-purpose construction vessels. In the past eight years, CTC Marine Projects has successfully completed over 60 projects ranging in scope, value and complexity. As a key enabler in the subsea construction market, CTC has been awarded a contract as part of Woodside Petroleum's ANGEL project. Mobilisation of the Maersk R-Class vessel begins in Teesside in the northeast of the United Kingdom. First it heads to Rosyth on the east coast of Scotland to collect three reels containing the umbilicals as well as associated equipment and spares. Then it travels on to Arco Felice in Naples, Italy to collect the power cable and its associated equipment and spares. The vessel continues its journey via the Suez Canal and on to Singapore for the mobilization of marine crew and completion of its Australian customization. On arrival at Dampier, the mobilization of the remotely operated vehicles, ROVs and remaining construction and vessel crews takes place. Power Cable Installation Operations At this point, full mobilization is complete and the vessel departs for the Angel platform where it will begin subsea site and route surveys. Along the route being surveyed, the vessel and ROV will pass over the Cossack Pioneer Lambert Crossing. Here, the first of the concrete mattresses will be lowered to the seabed and positioned for the cable crossing of this pipeline. The vessel will continue towards the North Rankin Alpha platform, where it will conduct a subsea site survey of the area. On completion of this survey, the vessel, guided by the ROV, will lower and position turning bollards to assist in managing the cable direction during the lay operation. First, the J-tube messenger wire will be recovered to deck. Then the vessel will overboard the power cable for the pull-in up the J-tube. Once complete, the vessel will stand off the platform while the power cable is secured at the top of the J-tube and tested. Once tested, the vessel will start laying away from North Rankin Alpha platform towards the Angel platform. The power cable will be laid along the surveyed corridor and over the pre-installed crossing point at the Cossack Pioneer Lambert Crossing and several other pre-prepared crossings. On arrival at the Angel platform, the power cable will be pulled in up the J-tube with the messenger wire. It will then be secured at the top of the J-tube and tested. AP2 Umbilical Installation Operations The vessel will relocate to the opposite platform face to prepare for the installation of the three control umbilicals. Before pulling in the first of the control umbilicals, a survey of the immediate area will be carried out and the ROV will remove the J-tube seal. The J-tube messenger wire will be recovered to deck then the vessel will overboard the control umbilical for the pull-in up the J-tube. The control umbilical will then be secured at the top of the J-tube. 
The vessel will then remain on standby during the testing. After successful testing, the vessel will lay away from the Angel platform with the lay being monitored by the ROV. The control umbilical will be laid along the surveyed corridor route towards the wellhead. The umbilical termination unit will be deployed and landed adjacent to the wellhead. The flying lead deployment frame will be lowered to the seabed and the ROV will connect the hydraulic and electrical flying leads to the wellhead and umbilical termination unit structures. The flying lead deployment frame will be recovered on completion of the flying leads installation. The remaining AP3 and AP4 control umbilicals will be installed in a similar manner. The vessel will complete its work scope by installing the subsea stabilization and scour protection mattresses in the field. On successful and safe completion of the Angel Project work scope, the Maersk R-Class vessel will depart the field and head for Dampier where it will demobilize.